Ow! Oh, you scared me. <laughs> you did that too. When I... <laughs> ah! Okay, cut it out now, Echo Stop Boy. It. Behave yourself. You're going to scare people away. Hey, lower the gangplank. I'm uh, coming aboard. It's me. Captain <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> it's me, Flash. And we're appropriately at the dork table on this yeah. fine Saturday, the 5th of January, 201.9. So I've been hanging out around here as the Capitani. I was going to change my, my nick earlier, and then I changed my mind. So I, I was thinking we need kind of like what? Uh, a couple of team names, you and I. Like, oh, uh, you egomaniac. First, let's do the, the show intro stuff. Get that stuff done, because sometimes we don't do it to the end now. <laughs> so, I forget. So, let's do this thing by the way we normally do it. Or not. Okay, I'll do it. Hello, reallibertymedia.com. And uh, we say hi to all the Real Liberty Mediums out there. And the medium rares. <laughs> hey, we got... Did I get you mad, Vinny? We got the bar, man. Did I lose Vincent? What's going on here? Hey, I think I lost Vinny. I better call him back. While I'm... Yeah, while I'm doing the introduction, I'll ring old Vincenzo back on the secret line to reinstate him on this extra special podcast of the dork table well i think i know what happened we didn't have I an open in sound so maybe uh, that was a problem it kicked me Whoa. right out of everywhere what did you do i said lower the gangplank you at you got what you asked for <laughs> i be, didn't be, realize well, who's the one that's always saying guard your words butt nugget come on me anyway we have at the very top of the list the best bot we got is barman and mm. we got cowboy tech Grimner, Miss Kate, uh, DC in brackets, anti, yeah, that shit, anti Asmo Chelsea cycles, hey, oh, honey. I know cycle love, Chloe, 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 Me. Chloe, Chloe, Godzilla, Graham Z, I be Don C, G O, yeah. well, wait, Grams, I hope you're feeling better. Jew Dread is amongst us today. And that's we've got the Woodman Meister Brow. Ponder Gander, that's you. Uh, you said how you like. I ain't no damn German anyway. Poxified Pox Phone Rain. RLM Fluke. Rob Works, the bubbler. Robes <laughs> Phantom. Beetle Capitani Vinny. <laughs> Cyborg Noodle. <laughs> hey, uh, Dakota Frumpy Gromit. Java Doctor 2. Jays Nines. Jays Kozu. Mmm. Nensen Dubois, Poxahome, Ponsas, Sock Puppet, and Skittle. I'm with Grammy on this. Okay. Nensen Dubois. That's a cool Z name, man. Z Z I always mess it up, though, because I, I, I don't speak English with a French accent, you weirdo. <clears throat> yeah, but you look like a frog to me, buddy. Have you okay. Have you found your id yet? I haven't looked for my id. I wasn't instructed. There was like a contest to find the id. I think we're going to have to try to seek it out. Are, are you setting me up for one of your redneck no. jokes? I have no idea. Be kind or I'll be forced to call you terrible names and insult your parental lineup. I, uh... I That's like right. that sometimes. It's a, it's a good exercise. Don't put it past me. I'll call your mom names. Oh, nah, I wouldn't do that. I, I'm just no, no. We could nah. do that. She, nah. she, could, she could have a lot of names. I Yeah, but I lost mine to, a year ago. Did so you find nah, her? I, no, she's... Nah, she's ditched Which, me. Where, was her name Heidi? No. Oh, Linda. Because... But yeah. she went to the other, to the other you, side. You said you lost her. Yeah, I'm I did. I wondering if it was Heidi. Because I lost my ID in a flood. I could go dig her up, I guess. But that'd be kind of like, you know, what was that guy's name? Norman Bates. Oh. That'd be very Ed Gein to go dig up your mom. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I uh, miss you, mommy. Where's I, my shovel? I probably, I saw some parts of that, that movie, probably the original, no telling how many years ago. But I don't, I don't even remember the whole movie. I don't know if I ever watched it all or not. 
Oh, so, and if Miss B's picked up the show lately, hey, Miss B, down and under the whole place, down at the bottom, where everything's opposite. Yeah, the whatever, toilet has been backwards, what, what, right? But whatever we're doing, whatever the weather is here in, in Denmark, whenever we're having it, she's having the exact opposite of what that would be. Crazy, what huh? it, Yeah. No, it's just life, but it's fun to know somebody that you can talk to about this stuff if you get curious. So, yeah, no, I meant crazy that to a flat earther, that would be crazy. Though. I don't. See here, just because I I don't have any proof the damn thing's round, doesn't make me a flat earther. I don't have any proof it's flat either. There's no proof of anything, and proof all proof is to me is the answer I like, and I don't like either fucking answer. So until you come up with a better story, leave me alone about the world. <laughs> no more round earth stories. I don't give a shit. Never did. Do you know I, the? Uh... What that song, uh, the wheels on the bus go round no. and round. No, but you know what I do know. Is what do you know? Pe- people like to compare people like we're like we're oranges in a in a rack. You know, if you squeeze this orange, you can judge what what it's like inside. <laughs> I hear they have really good uh, oranges in Iran as well. I don't know. Do they squeeze yeah. oranges in a rack? Do they squeeze uh, oranges in Iran? What? Or in Iran. I don't, I forget, I get all lost in all these foreign countries. All these names, they all sound the same to me after all these years. I have a Facebook Mush. friend that, that lives in Iran. Oh, uh, that's what I was getting at. I, I was yeah. listening, oh, shut up for a minute. I was listening to Grimner have himself a meltdown about Facebook last night. Yeah, and, I heard uh, that. I like his, Facebook. Yeah. I keep it. I, well, you're, you're a dork. Listen, hold on. I was promised. What? Yeah. That if I like my Facebook, I could keep my Facebook. Hey, mental pancakes. Just Yay! Okay, you were promised. I yelled over you. You were promised what? Uh, No, I didn't say I was promised. Uh, I then said, get off I, of Facebook. I, I, maybe I was promised. Did did uh, Zuckerberg make any promises? I don't know. Get off of Facebook. All of you. I quit, quit like doing my it. Facebook. I'm going to keep my it's Facebook. It's bad for you. It Facebook is the chocolate cake of mm. of. Uh, of desserts that's all it's just could be replaced with something else you're just too damn I, lazy to I, understand I'm not, i got accounts of uh sorts. see it's all okay I'm everywhere ego. man everywhere well let me okay well then you should never complain about anything that the system does ever because you're supporting it what yeah, all that shit you do with Facebook, it's it's bad for the rest of us, man. No, it's a it's a, a multifaceted. I can get mad yeah. and yell like Grim, but my style is a little bit different, and I'm just gonna tell the truth the way I see it. Oh, That's all I can no. do. Again. Uh huh. Again. Well, it's just the same as the uh, monetary system. If you play in it, you help make it what it is. No well, matter what it is, you're participating in it. Hey, did you take notes last <laughs> night like I told you to? No, I never. I never do what you tell me. I do the opposite of what you think. Okay, I'm listen. Do. I'm going to tell you to do something now. Okay. What Don't is it you take any do? notes. All right. Notes is on you. Oh, today. okay. Notes I is won't. on you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, what are we arguing about today? Well, oh. okay. The the oh, Facebook thing. Right. Okay. I think Facebook is way too big for one. I don't think any people, uh, any people, anybody blah, 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 can really communicate well with that many people. You get 20, 30, and then over that, and you're done. Because you can't even answer 30 questions without spitting out, what, an hour or two? <laughs> you know what I mean, or not? It depends on the question. <clears throat> and Well, no, because... Uh, with this Facebook shit, you're looking for big numbers to respond to your great ideas. Nah, uh, uh, no, no, no. And no. with the small stuff, you you're actually... playing the game. No, it, yeah, that's when you get into their uh, little sickly game. And very yeah. sick, not silly at all. Sickly. But, okay, but, listen, just just so like the birth I don't certificate. play their game. I don't play their game. Yes, uh, you do. I, we all do. I don't. I don't, uh, I don't even get any kind of bands. 
by Facebook. I had one. I don't know. Okay. Well, post time something. Ago. Okay. Post. I don't. Something no, I about. don't. Why? Why should I? There's enough. Because other then you could get off it and make room for another idiot to join it. But what I do with my Facebook, I have the uh, uh, three different. It's not yours. Three different what, normal cares? ones. Then I have my my super uh, sneaky wow. on them that I did with a hide my ass. Yeah, but they own all the shit you put on their site. Who is that? So, what is, who, Facebook. Who's... All that stuff that you post using their stuff, they claim it, and it's theirs. They yeah. pee all over all it. My, you can't get it back. All my pictures and everything. Everything, yeah. So why be on it? Well, because it serves its purpose. Wow. You might it's as a well. Way, just... It's yeah. a way that you can uh, keep up mm. with your family. There's, wow. there's their – and friends, that's that what they try to claim now that, uh, you know, trying to shut people down that Ooh. no, no, this is a friend and family place. And but okay, I, I've said this before. Listen, I am not anonymous mm. that others might be anonymous. Yeah. And what's from what, me talking about? Who is this? What, but what has that got to do with the price of corn? Any damn way you weirdo. It's my life. I, I can do I'm, it as I will. I'm right? on, I'm on the side that says whatever, Whatever Facebook truly is, whatever it is, it's not good for you. And this is the same situation as telling somebody that weed has never been bad for you ever. They lied about that to make you laws against it so you, you believed a bunch of shit. You know who Eric, Harry Aslinger is? Yeah, he's the guy that went to Congress and said he turned into a bat after he smoked a marijuana cigarette. Crazy. Crazy. He was under oath. They got to take your word under oath. Whether you're lying or not, is there, that's not the point. The point is what's on the record as on the record. So these morons that we live among by this stupidity from these fucking idiot politicians. Mm -hmm. And I've mm -hmm. never I've never seen the uh, traction to a politician in my whole life. And, of course, when I was old enough to know what it was, I started out with Tricky Dicky, and he was so slimy and greasy. Who want him being the front man of their band, you know? Well, I mean, maybe Hansel and the derelicts that want Republican leadership, but not me. Know what I mean? No, I guess, not sure. I guess not. Well, you're, you're more into the organized society being done a certain way than i am I well there's uh, there are there are ways certain ways that sh uh, surely you've got to agree that uh, is and needs to be right and i believe that the bigger the society you live in the bigger they dig at you to make you an angry nasty chump to everybody that you're around you think that's a byproduct of the system or do you think that's a it perfectly. was a planned product of the system. If you, over, if you overcrowd and you undernourish, the results are going to be negative. Yeah. Period. Like it doesn't back, matter. Back, back, back biting uh, rats, right? Yeah. You get, yeah. When you overpopulate a rat colony or a mouse colony and you don't give them equal amounts of fuel and nourishment, whatever their necessities are, and you favor a couple over the rest, you breed murderers and rapists and thieves in that society because yeah. of the shortages well they know this shit so what do they fucking do to us they overcrowd us and that that's first that that's probably the only thing that you need to know if you feel overcrowded in your environment you are it's your environment you're the one judging it don't go to the specialist for a fucking opinion. Go with your fucking self. And so would you say that there's probably a society of people then that might consider themselves above the uh, normal class of uh, being human and uh, are secretly then behind the scenes controlling the world? There's different layers of it, yeah. Mm, yeah. Sure. How else? Come on. How else do you get people to drink uh, fluoride in water? Well, if it's free, first of all, how can you? But complain? it's not free. There's a fucking water bill attached to your freaking building or apartment or house. Wait a minute. Or whatever. Hold on. You know, Wait a minute. I don't have a water bill. 
I don't okay, you're not living in a corporate, you know, the incorporated city where they get what I'm talking about. There's not even a water. Well, the closest water line is back up where the uh, black you top is. Okay, okay, look here, Buffalo Bill. Not everybody wants to live amongst the rodents either. Hey, squirrels are cool, okay? I understand. And that, listen, but, listen, listen. Yeah. It might be your tree, but I'm the squirrel trying to get a nut, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but my wife likes indoor plumbing and electricity and all that shit. So what do you want to go outside for? That's not where that's at. Hmm. Outside know. is what you use on the way from here to there. Here where I'm at is uh, the outside is like two different worlds at uh, two different times of the year. Except I love in it. summertime. I then, love then it when it's... the leaves are off. You know, when I came back from, I think it was uh, the 2014 trip I, yeah, I came back from. I'd Where'd been gone go? for. Wait, wait. But where? Uh, oh, I, well, that's when I ended up at uh, the Bundy yeah, Ranch. Where did you I leave was, for? I left here in Arkansas and I traveled about, and I went to Texas and then on Texas. out to uh, uh, Vegas yeah. and then up to Bunkerville and down to, uh, back to Arizona. Oh, just back and forth, back and forth. Uh, you know, yeah, stopped on Lake Mojave and spent some time out there. The water's so yeah. cold. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I can't do that anymore. <sighs> I moved to Denmark. That'll leave a stain, won't it? Well, no, it's just it's a lot farther from me. I can't do do what you what you do. I did what you do when I was there. Yeah. But not yeah. Here. Ah, uh, you and I now. we're we're the same. We've been this. Uh, or I lost. Yeah, but I started out hitchhiking when it was like accepted by the road, accepted right. by the nobody gave a shit if you're hitchhiking, they stopped and give you a ride. Yeah. And give you I some weed. Uh, hey. Thirteen no, I'm talking about my around the cities. Okay. I grew up in LA. Uh huh. LA is a very spread out. City, city, city. There's uh -huh. no space between them. Okay. They're just one after the other. Right. Well, <clears throat> it's just, it's a little different than smaller towns. <laughs> I went to uh, that part of the world in 86. It was a, wow, what an experience. I went all over the place. 86. California. Let's see. In the 80s. In the early 80s, I, I was a hot dog vendor two times at Mardi Gras. That was fun. Gave, in, the second time I went there, I got interviewed by the local news people. Really? And I, well, I hung around with enough of the vendors, so I knew all the right shit to tell the people that because i knew what the guys said so i just repeated what all the workers said and uh they put it on the tv that day and everything what uh, what did you yeah. say whatever i said at the time i don't know it was 1983 please but whatever the girl asked me because come on this is like all those in 83 are you kidding me no, I was there at 82 on um, St. Ann and Bourbon, two years ago. I drove past you, no doubt. Yeah, that probably. Very, at that very year. I was yeah. uh, I was uh, living up in uh, out this side of the river of Baton Rouge over uh, uh, just past Port Allen and Irwindale. That's way out in the country in Louisiana. But then I was uh, working down there uh, in Metairie. Hmm. Man, that was a long drive back and forth every day. Yeah, and during Mardi Gras, sure enough, we went right down through New Orleans there, and, and uh, I thought I recognized you. That was you. Uh, you know, Rob Works is posting love, uh, the love chat. Really? Um, yeah, the love chat stuff on the main feed. I yeah, seen him earlier. I didn't know who he was talking about. Well, it's disturbing to read a headline like this, but I'm glad he puts it up. But I don't enjoy the... I don't enjoy the the content, but it's interesting to know that these are the things that happen. And and just the headline got me. It says, <clears throat> homeowner facing charges. <clears throat> uh, wait, mute button, sorry. Homeowner facing charges after beating would-be burglar to death. Okay, you know, wow. Mm. Would-be burglar. Yeah, and, and, you know what? I uh, have something that... Um, on the very serious side mm. that uh, the listeners that ever they had encountered such a shit situation that this information would uh, probably and undoubtedly save their life. I'm going to go look it up uh. and uh, I'll come back to you oh. about that. So here, take, take back. A oh, hold. 
I think I'll go on a rant about what a good rant be. Let me pick up where Grim was at. If you're on Facebook and you can't see the bad side of being on Facebook, there's nothing to say to you. And for the other ones that are like Grim and me that see the, the in that light, I guess it would be. Because when you fuel a, a monster and you don't have to, well, then you're, you know, you're willingly participating in it. And that Shine monster a lot. is horrible. Shine hey, a lot. I was Shine backing up. The shut light, up. Buddy. Shush, shush, shush. I was backing up my good buddy Grimner. Was if perfect. I was right about something he thought, too, I think he'd back me up. So, you know, because it's I'm not gonna very I'm going to back often. you up, buddy, right up again the wall. Yeah. Yeah, well, that new thing I'm doing, the 20% off, has given me more serious. What a deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm all serious now. Hey, listen, here's the No more screwing around. I'm not making, you know, I'm not making jokes here, people. Listen, We're this is about this is real serious. You're talking about, yeah. uh, you know getting killed maybe by the cops because you're defending yourself or your property yeah it is i think very important to know uh how to make sure that that uh doesn't that happen beat, to yeah you. happen to you right here wow. this is i just posted it this is uh from Levering liberty with brian hyde there's this yeah. guy i forget his name off the top of my head there but uh an expert on self-defense and uh yeah. knowing when to act so that right there should be First on your list to listen to. Protect yourself, you know. Yeah. You want to hey, be in I, your house and somebody comes in and decides yeah. to uh, do what they yeah. will. Ouch. Great thought. Uh, I got a question for you. Okay. How, how do blind people know if the world is round or not? <laughs> they have an extra sense. You know, when you lose one sense, you get height in another one. So what has round got to do with not being able to visually see? It's all concept, I guess. Well, I'm just curious because, you know, I get accused of being an anti-rounder, but I'm just trying to understand it in a way that makes some sense. And Well, if I'm blind and I can't even see, well, what what is round? All right, listen, let's do a little experiment. Uh, Close your eyes. Close your little eyes. Okay, bo right. both of them are just one. Both of them. Well, how am I going to see the, the Listen, screen? Listen, cl just close them? your little eyes. Okay, I'm closing Lean my eyes. Lean back. Now, Leaning back. Put, put your yeah. arms out beside you, both directions. Put my arm, yeah. And I'm raise them up. Come on, you're doing it. All right, come up now. Take one and fill the top of your head. Do you feel it? Uh-huh. All right, now take your other one and place it on your belly. Okay. You, do you feel it? Uh, now, yeah. listen, listen, now. Now take your one hand and rub the top of your head. Oh yeah. Really? Then, now yeah. take your other hand. Now pat your belly. Are you doing it? Pat your belly. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm now. Good. Now. You, can you tell what round is now? No. I'm Try still again. making a I'm still making a point. If you can't visually see we we have vision. We can see these things, right? So we're I in, think you, know, you opened your eyes. You didn't go through the whole experiment. I don't care what you think. I'm pontificating did, about did what you i do think it? you did you do what head? i said did you do no. what I, you didn't follow the experiment no, did didn't you? you hear me light up my okay pipe? now i'm gonna tell you where the point is it's on top okay. of your head dog i understand that but if if somebody is blind visual they can't you're, see you're blind. and you're describing a round how do they know what round is how if does you a would blind have, person interpret you, round listen if you would have completed that experiment, you would have felt the sensation <laughs> and known as a blind man would what round is. So, okay. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> quit, a quit asking these silly <laughs> questions. All right. Back to our word from last night. Silly-offic. Is that the word I had? Yes, I think I, so. Yeah. You're, so you're a member of the like silly, silly sophic society. Philosophic, right. Philosophic society. That's right. Because, I mean, being logical is just being herded into a, a way of thinking. It's like the most structured form of thinking there fucking is, is logic, right? So, and people praise each other for being logical. And this is like, no. That's how you come up with a flat earth or a round earth or a, things that are too big for you are not all of a sudden not too big for you if there's a million other people that agree with you. 
See, that's how this works. It's the power of numbers playing on our egos. And it's very complicated. It's not as simple as I probably try to make it sound, Vinny. But I think that through the misdirection of society, they get the results they get out of us on purpose. If we were treated honestly, this shit that happens wouldn't happen. It would all be different because this is all based on bullshit. And what we want or what would be good for us is be based on the truth. All right. there, There's the title then. Oh, we got a title for us yeah. today? Oh, yeah. you're doing the paperwork? No, uh, I'm just giving you the no. title because you, you... I don't see anything. You're just listening. Wait. You refuse to participate, mister. So you have, <laughs> you have no say-so <laughs> in this decision. Oh, just like voting. Right. You know, because they were appointed to speak for us, so we're responsible for what they say. What? No, because I don't want them to do what they want to do. So I'm against it all. So we're, you know, who listens to me? Yeah, my right. voice, is, my vote is isn't good. counted because my vote would be fuck off, you fucking thieves. They, they want to live all yeah. high on the, hey, they want to live all high on the fucking hog and fly around and waste and abuse and torture and all this other shit. And, but they want the, the population to, to live as cheaply as possible. And what the fuck? Are you fucking stupid? That's not human nature. That's years and years of conditioning to adore idols. <laughs> it's a game. Getting suckered. Because I'll prove it to you. Vinny, are you any better or worse than I am? Mm, yeah. That's a, that's a long question right there. Think about it. Well, are you? You are or you're not. Okay, it's up we're, to you. We're going to ask that right in there. The but I'm just question. saying, do you, you feel superior to me in some way no, that no, I no. didn't? I was never made aware of? I'd sure like to know about it. Um, am I better than you and man? I don't know. I guess you'd have to get particular. There's a lot of things that yeah. you would do individually that would be right. better than me. But Maybe. I mean, as a as a car- carbon based life form, you know, breathing air and eating and all that, are you better or worse than me, or are we on the same thing? I will break that down to the simplest uh, differentiation of. Useless eaters. Would there be somebody that would be s- superior over another and just that there other people are worms? That's how some people would see the see it. Well, yeah, it's because of the story you're told about the other guy. And I would bet you the people that uh, believe the story the most don't have any physical experience with it. They're just reading the story. There it is. It's official. The Silly Suffolk Society, Egos and Ids. What do you hey, think? I before E except after C. Ah, uh, and in this case, Egos I was and being idiots. funny. It was yeah. the first thing that came It was good. Yeah, that was, actually, I, I really liked that. And I was trying ah. to decipher it. Excellent. Ids okay. and ID, uh, Ids and Egos or Egos okay. and Ids? So at the dork table, the way things Wait a minute. stack up. Fix the that. Thing? What? So we go. What? I didn't type anything. Egos and ids or ids uh, and egos? Well, I, it's I traditionally. Like ids. I, I'm going to go with your. Yeah. It's ids and I egos. before E except after C. Absolutely. We have to be sensible in a philosophic there, society after all. And there are like three exceptions and one of them is Keith. And I know that because I had a friend like you that when his name was used, sometimes he'd got a giggle out of it because keith was an unusual name when can you use keith in a sentence when we were talking about the rolling stones oh well see that's exactly specific uh, name because yeah. one of the hanger honors in this group i was running around with was a guitar player so yeah we'd had conversations about music and whatnot yeah but 
when you say easily, that that is used uh, so many no, times. We, How many we times would... do you hear the word Keith used just randomly? <clears throat> That's the death. point. It was such an unusual name to hear. Well, yeah, when, but they're actually heard saying it. their name. Say my name. Well, Say my name. Captain Ni Vinny. Capitani. Capitani. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go back to scrubbing. Why, why are you starting to bully me around here? Anyway, so like I was trying to get, we, we've we made a stand. Egos and ids, but uh, that's On why. the Dork Table podcast that we do here at Real Liberty Media, we are at 50-50. Oops. Apparently, sides have been chosen. I'm on the side that says Facebook can kiss my waffle ass. No, thank you. I don't care who is on Facebook. I ain't opening it. Shut up. And my worthy adversary across the water over there in Arkansas has this to say about Facebook. <clears throat> well, I think it's, it's a, a tool, and like any tools, it's how you use it. You want to get blisters on your hand like a shovel or a hammer or something? You got to know how to use it, right? He said it's a tool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's the uh, there's the correction. The Psilosophic Society Ids and Egos. Yeah, I think we'll yeah, put it, in I search yeah. of yeah, let's in, add that. In search in, of Ids and Egos. Right? In search of the illusion of freedom. Cause I don't really think people think that word through very clearly before they throw it around. Freedom? Yeah. Freedom. Let's quote, mm. freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Well, that's according to a, you know, a songwriter. I'm talking about what the society deems it as. You know, the society gets gets convinced that being protected by an invisible thing is freedom. You have these things you can do, but not those. <laughs> But these other things, you can't do those things. But these things, these things are, you can do them. And we're going to protect you. Well, that sounds like racketeering to me, but. Hey, Grey Dude but, said, this is uh, good news. Thanks for the vid, RLM. I Grey was dude. being funny there. You're man. not being funny. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I Listen, wow. this is what friends are for, okay? And when you, <laughs> when you have fake friends. Yeah. yeah. Are not willing to tell you the truth about yeah they're stroking your ego dude well, yeah well who does that Let's i'm not here to do that for you mister i'm here to give you the cold hard facts about like what? it or not we'll say something don't be a tool use the tool senor you said tool again <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah I, I know what you mean but the tool doesn't know it's a tool. That's why it's a tool. Not because you call it one, but because it doesn't know it is one. You know, when you're getting used by somebody else uh, for that person's gain, so to speak. Eh? 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 Like, uh, I don't know. Let me give you an example. Well, like, say I wanted to sell you something, and I'd make up this great big story about the... It came from this faraway land, and it's made out of blah, 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 and it's worth this much money. But if you take it from me now, <laughs> I'll give you 80% off. <laughs> that sounds like a really good deal. That's how we live, and we shouldn't. It's fucking wrong. It's That's the whole premise of my whole dork table and everything. Yeah. If it's... we didn't if we didn't live like that, the results that we live uh, under would change. This is because it's all based on lies. You've probably seen a video where so they go out and ask the person uh, about the taxes, and they say, oh, no, no, I'm getting money back this year, and never considering that they put all that money in, and then they're getting part of it back. But beyond that, never considering what that actual uh, debt-bearing paper that you're using as currency is. That is <laughs> that's what it is, and it and has been – the biggest Ponzi scheme in human history. And the value of that, supposed value of, of that uh, 
stuff are using as a monetary system. Fiat is is we only... all call it fiat. Even even they even talk about it on the re regular. Uh, what is it? The YouTube links. People talk about it, call it fiat all day long. It's common. It's, you know, it's so cheap to talk about these things. They don't mean anything to anybody. They don't matter. They just give me my next toast. They don't matter. It don't. Anymore. That's a good song. That was a cover when the bluegrass covers. Thank you, Elvis. Uh, that's going to be, that'll have to be the intro then. Yeah. Elvis Vinny. Uh oh, Woody broke something. <clears throat> He's always breaking something. That guy, hey, he falls out in doors and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> he does. He's liable to break his collarbone or wow. chin bone. Wow. No, yeah. I haven't broken any. I had two fingers broken in 59 years. That's it. I'll break your fingers for free. Yeah, it hurt too. I didn't like that. You can't break my fingers. I won't let you. Okay, I won't break them. I, I will. I will resist. I will tell that? people you're oppressing me and make them stomp you into the pavement. Go look at what this big bully is trying to do to me. I'll play the little guy and get I you for, in big trouble. Mr. I forgot the name of the song. Oh, what what were you thinking of? Yeah, uh, I was yeah, threatening you song. with my size, and you yeah. weren't even paying attention. You, you don't uh. scare me. You don't scare me. You're, oh, uh, okay. yeah, your extension cord's not long enough. Mm. Uh, Dang it. Anti and Meisterbrow. Oh, I'm in. I got to change. Uh, Breaking art. things. I got to change. Switch accounts. Okay. I have no idea what you're doing. But Oh, you know what? I hope see. I didn't uh, have, put all that into the history at Real Every Me. I was listening to a lot of music. Dang it. That'll clog up the, change the feed. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why the the average person doesn't understand making pot legal was just controlling it from a different hand. It's the same thing. Oh, you can only have so much. So there's still laws, and they're still criminalizing pot. No matter how you that if you have a punishment as a result of something you do that breaks a code, well, there there you go. It's so making it legal just kept it in the same damn game it's always been and it's now just the quantity and the uh, the the details of your your situation are going to be factors what well, they always were because just as easily as a cop ah the there it is thank you i'm sir. not done you with my that easily shut up though but just as easily as they arrest you for first you know oh he was smoking pot well it's their word against yours he threw the shit, and we couldn't find it, or he ate it, whatever. But, I mean, to criminalize something to that level and make us suffer the way they did with it over the years, with all the searching and the back talk and the, you know, all the cool kids were always, oh, you potheads, you dirty, filthy, hippie scum, and all that kind of shit we always put up with. Um, that... That wasn't very nice. So to make it legal, it doesn't change anything. It just changes the punishment for the amount and the activity. But the, the, the plant itself still brings you the same results. Thank you, baby. I just got some ginger tea from my wife. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I got uh, fresh organical ginger down at the uh, grocery where I go to pick up our necessities. And I've been on a ginger kick the last couple of days, and so if I get it, she'll you know she'll go make it for me. Ginger. I got one of those. I got one of those strange wives that if I I get a hankering for something like that, and I won't do as good of a job for myself that she'll just do it. I'm not a I'm not one to mess around in the kitchen, but I'll go anywhere that she needs me to go to get stuff. So it balances out. You know we trade. We trade off in the, our who does what thing. So nobody gets stuck, you know. You Nobody likes to feel like, oh, you never do that. I always have to do that. So we try to make the best of what we do and like it. <laughs> anyway, so Grim was pissed off about the way they were handling the weed thing from his side of it. And I didn't hear the whole show yet, so 
I'm not sure what to say. I can't really repeat him at this point, but I'm going to definitely, because uh, I was interested, and I want to definitely hear the end of that one. And, yeah, we need some more people. Boy, you had that guy, uh, Art, Art Underground, come on, but he didn't like us. You know why? Because you're an idiot. That's why. Anarchist Just scum. Just don't listen. Called us anarchist scum. Man, wow. I can't tell. I'm aren't, searching. Aren't you, I'm trying aren't you to, hurt? No. Do, wait. Not, hurt? not a bit. I've been called <laughs> way worse than far better. You have not. I you have. Mean, yeah. you, you bragger. Yeah. People are nice to you and you know I've it. You, bully. you know, I'm afraid to switch my search engine or my search of, uh, I'll find it here. I'm trying to remember what the name of that song is. On it. And then I have a project. I want to, Grimner, uh, I, I have an on air project. I, know, I want a uh, non attached keyboard. Oh, yeah. You're we're going to buy it with all the components. We're going okay. to do a live buy through the uh, RLM store for that. Yeah. But, you know, this This is 2019, Vinny. It, it's, we're not going to wait another year. Catch up. You have been threatened. <laughs> oh, like my list is so long. I'm telling you, feed your squirrels, grow your nuts, do whatever uh, you got to do, but catch the fuck up already. Yeah. Whatever that means. No, actually, I, I think what you're doing is way more involved than what I'm doing. Oh, you know what? I've, all right, that's just uh, weighing on my mind anyways. This writing mm -hmm. thing here. Man, I crammed and crammed and crammed on this stuff. And then, so, yeah, yesterday, I'm yeah. Think I, I think I'm going to take, well, I'm going to keep it for the archives, but I'm going to treat it like a, uh, ripping the page out of the, your writing. I'm not well, going to crumble. I'm going to crumble it up, but then I'm going to yeah. take it back out, and I'm going to go back through it. And, but you've got all week to, to prepare for the one yeah. show, right? Yeah. Well, why don't you do, like, the day after the show, do a, a test for the next week, do prepare yourself and play it back and hear how it sounds yeah there's all kinds of stuff because there there every time i do a show with anybody i do the show with when i'm doing the show i'm busy yakking my mouth and listening or not listening or whatever and i don't really know what's going on through the show i got to play it back to go oh that's what we were talking about yeah that <laughs> so i'm suggesting that if that might work for you i don't know yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it might. Well, yeah, that's the whole idea. That's actually the, the part of the process. It's going back and then pulling those pieces out. Yeah. Leaving, yeah. Yeah. leaving out all the, the uh, commas and the andums, you know. Now, you would assume with all the people on the Internet, right, that you could find somebody <laughs> that's learning how to do editing that doesn't have any material uh, in particular. Yeah, I'm working with all that. Uh, I have oh, okay. yes, yes, yes. I, ben, I was being ben, Jewish. Come along. Yeah. Yeah. This this is in develop. I mean it's it's not like something is set. It's the building of it. It's not the the end result. Well it right. Okay, wait a minute here. I'm gonna skip looking for that song and maybe it'll come back to mind. I'm gonna take and uh, copy the uh, address of uh, reallibertymedia.com forward slash R L M uh dash store so i'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna bring that over to the chat let's do, uh, let's let's do an actual deal here yeah okay. maybe a couple let's... maybe a couple of people come in if grimner we're going to take this through grimner in the very end and purchase an external keyboard these are the key factors that uh, uh big big letters you know big tabs yeah. for uh, misdirectional fingers and has the uh, the mouse pad on it the, and preferably a nice size one and not see here here's the thing should it be on the side or below if it's uh if it's below then you got room for your uh, left and right wrist there to uh, yeah. to touch there and then hover over your keys um, and if it's to the right then you're just yeah. on top and hovering over your keys so i think to the right would be the uh, parameter. Cool. All right, I'll go find an example. I hope you don't hurt yourself with your experiment, Doctor. Hey, 
Just get involved, okay? Hey, you can like end up with carport tunnel syndrome or something. You got to be careful of these things. Yeah, I ordered. Oh, yeah. I ordered the splitter. So um, uh, if it's just me talking shit right now, <laughs> I already did that. Uh, right now? Oh, okay. Right. Oh, and now I'm gonna go look. All right. <clears throat> yeah. That, there it is. External uh, keyboard for laptop with touchpad. That's the uh, parameter of the search. Oh, and there's two different types of uh, mouse pads, right? There's the uh, what is it called? It's like it has quick snap or something like that. No, don't want that. I want the old fashioned for idiot model. Squirrel. All right. So I'm over here and I'm going to yeah. find an example, okay? Of. Oh, and you know what's cool? Latest. There? Yeah, they have the. They have lighted like backdrop. That would be ideal, right? Mm. Mm. For a look. For you, I, I'm not you. How the hell do I know but what's it, ideal? It can't be a mini keyboard. And uh, USB wow. connect, yeah. I would prefer that over Bluetooth, I think. I guess. So, Graham. Jibber, 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 jibber. Any Wait tech people. Hold on, the tech people. This is a project we're doing right now, Flash. Oh, never uh, mind. yeah, our tech people. Come on, let's yes. get involved in this. Let's make it. Tech people alert. Yeah, let's do it. I'm doing it. What am I doing? We're trying to find them. External. Here's, right now, here's an I'm example. Not, this is one I'm I think not, I was looking at. I'm not opening links on the computer right now. I was doing the dark table, you dork. Well, let's be dorky about Okay, it. who who broke Vinny this week? How do I do Who's that? Whose fault is it? Did you bump your head again? Hmm. Touch anyway, add aviation aluminum alloy cover and rechargeable Lion battery for PC, laptop, Raspberry Pi 2, smart TV, IPTV, and Android box. What do you think? That sounds pretty good, right? I don't know what you're asking me questions about something physical. Oh, yeah. With, oh, no, yeah, I need no, I, I need pictures and price. I'm Jewish. I'm you can't sell me with words. I like this. No, 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 no. You know what I did on no, my, I have no idea what you on did. my computer. <laughs> it's got the big mouse pad area right there, but you know, my other one had like exact you know buttons fit in there, the left, the right. And this I one, don't. you know, it's all solid across there. No visual <laughs> marking. So okay. not being blind, I can see it's flat, but I don't see any uh, continental plates in there. So yeah, I took a red marker and made a big mark. That way, big my mark. yeah, that big way my finger mark. has a target. Target. Yeah. I don't know. You're you're doing a hell of a job explaining it to me, though, sport. Really, you're not understanding. Not really. No. Oh. Be well, there's two components to my not understanding, and one of them is I can't see it. And number two is I'm smoking my brains out. Good for you. So I'm I'm not really too concerned there, about your, right there. your setup right now. I was more interested in why you want to keep Facebook open when I want to shut it down. Real <laughs> you simple. traitor! You, you don't have to. You don't have to come back. Matter of fact, if you ever want to come back, yeah. I'm gonna re recommend you that you not. And if you really, really want to, I think well, we should like. Bring you back in steps <laughs> like a program. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm all for that, Vinny. Okay, well, let's let's start next week, shall we? Yeah. What are you doing Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I'll be there. Same, we'll do it that. Yeah. Same thing we do every. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll be there. Don't worry about. I'm, I'll be all over it. Yeah. The return of Facebook. <laughs> Son of Facebook. The revenge of Facebook. But uh, anyway, it just sad, it saddens me that people complain about things like Walmart and Facebook but still use them. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're slaves to the system. In I ways. realize that. I know. Fuck. I'm slave to it different. I got married to this, some female and... <laughs> You can't just willy nilly do what you want when you're married. You have to, you know, you have to go, honey. And, you know, when you get to the part about 
watching the whales in Baja. Oh, I love whales. Yeah, but then they got to go to work on Monday, and it's Saturday, so there's no way. Can't I was do. I was out of uh, uh, what is it called the Queen something there out of Long Beach Harbor out in there. Uh, QE2. Yeah. They got no they no got no. That I was on, there. I was on, no, I was out in the ocean. Yeah. Oh yeah, but where the yeah. Queen QE2s? Yeah yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, I saw the Spruce Goose too there when it was uh, in like 1971. Uh huh. Yeah, I had a close relative take me to see the goose and the queen. Yeah, I've seen those. You know, up close so and awesome. person, huge. You no, know, those those are just like you know stuff that man has done. What what was, was most incredible experience of my life was to be out there in the ocean and have a whale swim <laughs> under you and you <laughs> go to the other <laughs> side and you know watch them come in one side and go the other side yeah. and watch them swim underneath the other and then yeah. how small that makes you feel. Well, I saw a version of it in the uh, Sea of Cortez once. Didn't spend a lot of time on the water. But the times that I've been in it were memorable. And before I started drinking and driving the boat, that was what I was, I was watching. The, the dolphins were on a food frenzy. But before the dolphins' food frenzy, there was uh, about three or four whales that were they were checking us out because they were keeping their distance away from the boat, but they were all up, like, looking at us. <laughs> it was very strange. Uh-huh. Yeah, then I start drinking, and the guy goes, hey, you ever drive a boat? <laughs> I said, I said, back in Bellingham, Washington, I did my first first time, but not nothing like this. It was, a, um, I don't know, 30-something foot like a sailboat with an engine. So anyway, so he says, oh, get behind here. And I said, I'm drinking. He goes, ah, you, we'll catch you before you can wreck this yeah. thing. But keep it between the bowies. And so these two guys want to fish. And the last thing I remember is this uh, blue fish on the deck of the boat. And then I had one too many and knocked out for a while. But when I came to, the fish was yellow. <laughs> All right. So I. I went, wait a minute. It sounds I, like your Alice in Wonderland moment. Yeah, the and the only thing I could I could rem- remember this fucking blue fish and then nothing. So I, so the two guys are teasing me and they get, no, that fish was yellow. <laughs> so what happens what happens in the, before dark is that something blew in the engine. Don't know what made it happen or how, but we had to turn around. We were going to go uh, around Baja and go to uh, go to <laughs> San Diego. But we had to turn back and go back to La Paz, hmm. but without an engine because it just blew it. La Paz, that is like the perfect temperate zone in the world, probably. Always, it was such always beautiful there, and that a lot yeah. of that's where the whales go too. Okay, well, I was hitchhiking down to Cabo. That's what our, my plan was, and I, on the way there, somebody I was riding with said that I you should stop in in. A, La Paz, they got a nice little marina. Go out, and go out. They got a radio out front, and go out and just tell them, "Hey, I want to be crew. If you're interested in some extra crew, I'm standing here. I, I'm this big or that, this yeah. whatever. Well, because you know people be looking for you and take a look before they even put themselves in a position. How'd you describe yourself? I have no idea, but the uh, the guy comes out. He's uh, he was either English or or, 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 or Aussie. I can't remember. This is back in like... Did he say, oi, 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 oi? No, none of that nonsense. But they come out. They wanted to meet me. You know, before you go taking somebody on your yacht that you're traveling with, you want to meet them first. Oh, I remember. Anyway, so the three of us got along, and that's what led up to that. But it was just another hitchhiking story. Somebody said to me while I was in... You know, they picked me up riding. Said I was going to Cabo. Hey, why don't you go here and try this too? You know. So I did. <laughs> That's how life was when I was just Don't you running, love that? running free. Mm-hmm. If I wanted to go, yeah, but what I found out, if I didn't have the passport, I couldn't do it. Oh, really? Back then, a passport. Yeah. In, yeah. No because way. It, I thought you could skip around these that guys, a lot back then. These guys are in marinas. They're, they're signed up with the system. I think I found the song. It, it came so back to me. They're, they're accountable for all the... Um, all the property on their boat. Morris code. That's probably pretty fitting. Uh, you're, Hey, I'm telling you some really important I am, shit I'm, here. And I'm you're doing, reading chat. I'm doing three things marry, at once, mister. You marry I'm you. talking to you about your hitchhiking okay. experience. Down no, the no, no, no. I'm, 
Sh- listen. I'm making a point of something else. You can't hear what I'm telling negative. you what you're saying if you don't listen. <laughs> See, that's your problem. <laughs> you just don't listen. <laughs> okay. Now, the sooner you realize this, then the quicker you and I are going to get along. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, okay. Now, do you have any do you have any other questions and before you answer that, that was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So wait a minute. Yeah. You're still what? not listening. You're just not listening. I found the song. I think this is it. Yeah. Well, Morris it, Code. It goes with our <laughs> program. And then we have another. See, look, we're going to talk for another hour and we're not even going to have this thing <laughs> intro properly. And there we are at the end of the show and he's like, what, what just happened? And we'll look back and, well, the wind blew. With every okay, little wind. so, Are so you- yeah, you you can't board a you can't board a boat that's bound to the system unless you have uh, a passport. Not just any ID would have done it. Yeah, that's very interesting. They want because if you if you're out at sea, I mean, it's not like there's a road out there. You could be going any damn where, and you can do any damn thing. And these people are real controlling about what you do and don't do. And well, some folk, some folk are more law-abiding than others uh-huh. too. And the boat that I got on with, these guys wanted to do the thing by the rules, and I had the damn passport, so it didn't bother me. But for years after that, it was cool to show people, look at this freaking stamp. I got it from Mexico. I go, you don't have to have your your passport stamp from Mexico. And I tell him I didn't think so either. I used to walk across the border to TJ from San San Diego. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And, uh, but when you get on the boats, you're in Admiralty Law. It's uh, a different huh? world. Yeah. yeah. There's there's laws out there. Man, they're they're deadly. If, uh, and they don't apply not- to you. They don't apply to you until you use a boat. Hmm. And you don't even know what the, and you don't even know what you're getting into. Right. But for whatever reason, fortune has always been with me. And whatever hell that was leading to, the engine blew up, and we had to turn around and go right back to where we started. So I hadn't even been a sailor for a whole day, you know, and we had to go right back. I was only on that boat long enough to get sea legs and watch the room shake for a while. Oh, I love coming in off being out all day or two on the ocean, and when you go to bed, you're laying there, <laughs> and you're going up and down, up and down. Yeah. Some people can't handle it. I just ride it out. <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah. a good acid trip or something, you know. I, I don't, yeah, I don't have pro- heights and <laughs> shaking and all that crap. Nah. None okay. That crap bothers me. All right. Let me, uh, let me back up here just a minute. Uh, Grimner. Grimner. Did, uh, would you take that link and uh, bring it over Uh-oh. back from the RLM store? And, and uh, let's look at it. What do you think? What do you think about that keyboard? Oh, he's looking for shopping tips. Yeah. The Dork Table Podcast. Yeah. Welcome to Geek Corner. I can't host, do nothing unless I run it through Ben E. First. He's, he's the actual, <laughs> he is the actual oh, captain. Oh, good. Wow. You sound like Hansel encouragement now. Nobody's oh, talking man. to you. Well, I'm just comparing apples to apples for a minute. Well, don't get too excited. This you is start uh, acting. 25 start- free shipping. When you start acting like you're, you know, a Hansel, I'm going to call you one. What can I tell you? We have places for people like you. What is? What are they called? Gas chambers. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna light you up, baby. That's funny as hell. <laughs> Gas chambers. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that shit. You know. <laughs> Hey, uh, but, yeah, I'm not really a Nazi. You're not. I know. Hello, mental. How are you doing today? We got mental pancakes popped in to visit us at the Dork Table program, where I could be talking about the most boring thing to the most interesting thing for no particular reason uh, on Saturday. Usually not because the it was there. <laughs> usually, oh, well, I didn't usually know. not the latter, though, right? Hey, did you out with the old and in with the new this year? Or yeah. Or did you just skip a day? 
Um, no. Out with the old and in with the new. Uh, no. No. In with the old and uh, out with the new. Yes, I bring in the old uh, and go out with uh, the new. It's wow. the revise, revise, revise. Uh, That's right. Wow. I if think you if you don't uh, like the way uh, things are going, huh. try, try something different. That's what I do. Yeah. Good for you. But I like the way things are going. Things are fine. That's right. I'm. Yeah. All right. Wait. Hey, there's Grimner. I hear him. Hold on. Let me come back. I bet that's him. I oh. had homemade. I had homemade Danish pancakes before the program today. Ha 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 ha. Did I get? Oh. I've got to scroll back down. That's but I, I can only do that when I'm in Denmark. I can't seem to do that anywhere else. This one came attached with a Dane. <laughs> anyway. Thanks, mm. Grimner. Here's the... Uh, because RLM. I'm a sex. Hey, are you a sexist? I'm a sexist. You're a species. I believe, you need to get it right. I believe, I believe in two genders and everybody else is crazy. Is what well, I that's, that's not true. Well, that's my business, though. How I look at it. How well, you that, call it what you want. You can't just go saying. Tell me what I can make call, them true can, just because you say it, them. It's exactly how it works. You butt nugget. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Come on. It oh, does. please. No, sir. No, sir. You show me a truth that you believe that has any physical proof attached to it. Give me an example. Tick well, tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. See, I told done, you you can't right? do it. <laughs> I've come to bury the hatchet, dog. Hmm. All right. Grimner hmm. says he like it cool, but he is no fan of wireless keyboards. Oh, wait a minute. Do they need fans, too? I have a fan over here. Does it have a plug-in for it? Oh, this technical stuff. I hate it. I'm afraid to push a button. But they need to be big and clear and indicate exactly what they're going to do and not let's, like, jump you somewhere. Well, like if you're going to be mentally cra castrated, I guess the dork table is the appropriate venue. Thank you. Because you're mentally castrating me with your shopping spree. Well, listen, we're doing <laughs> we're doing a public thing here for uh, Real no. Liberty Media. We are promoting no. the RLM store. No. Yes, because, we are. Oh, are we? Okay, I'm for that. How do you how do you do that? That's what we're trying to do right here. Now, Grimner's brought me this link back here okay. so that I can purchase the uh, the keyboard. Through our LM, RLM store. Ah, now, it only, it. I don't know what kind of pennies it kicks back, but obviously it's not very much. And it, well, does, no, it doesn't cost, cost any extra. To uh, use it and we have people it. here yeah. at Real Liberty Media yeah. that uh, yeah. buy stuff through the internet, through Amazon. Yeah. Right? And so what we want to do is promote the use of our, um, what do you call this extension, right? Of our network. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I'm I'm all over it, boss. Okay. All right. So twenty five forty nine. I'm gonna buy it. I think uh, I think that's what I'm looking for. Of course, if you're gonna employ me, I want to be employed. And I you're not want you're benefits. not getting paid, buddy. All okay. right. Let me and just stop holidays. you right there. You know what I think? Take the wife to Israel for a nice vacation. I think that uh, go shoot some Palestinians or something. You know how they say? Uh, just let go. <laughs> sleep on it. <laughs> let's smoke on it instead. do you know what you know what i've been seeing over on on minds.com what have you is been people who openly do not approve of israel oh i heard about that yep. good i support oh i support a little resistance against something that's fucked up and i really support a lot of resistance but you'll never see it you'll only get a little bit yeah that's i'm the same way because the, the herd is too too religious. Yeah. They're going to go, oh, you're messing with the Jews. My yeah, brain. everybody and believes you go that. Me yeah. yeah, you go messing with the Jews, and then you come and you get messing with the Mies. No. You, you know a big part of that, big factor in that is, is, like you said, the religiosity about it. You know how long that this has been being drilled into the uh, mainstream of uh, Christianity that, uh, that uh, Israel is God's chosen people? Since they figured out how to use it as a weapon, yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's not how I would weaponize religion. Would, okay, but say I'm hearing that about you, you know, your particular brand of human is uh, on the religious side. You're the chosen ones. In my mind's eye, I would see that as, oh, that's cool. 
you're the you're the ones that he likes the best over everybody yeah sure let it go cuz it's too ridiculous to believe very want me to prove it no i can prove okay, it okay go ahead prove it oh, oh okay. i doubt well, you can but you you got parents right okay no i did have two right okay so did i mine are both gone but you have two parents now, which one do you love more? Um, See, there you go. My mom can't. Okay, no, that's. God, like I love more. my dad more in another way, differently too. Yeah, see, no, that's liking things. So no. we're we're taught wrong, Vinny. This is my my perspective of okay. this topic is. I'll let you be serious. You always tell me no, no, no. <laughs> okay. But I think that it's how we are taught to look at these things is what directs the decisions we make. Mm -hmm. Other people control us. That's how we end up being what we end up being. Yeah. There's the more, other the factors. More, too. True. But the more controlled people, you know, people that were, are, how do you put it? Uh, l less, they're less likely to just be part of the herd. You're going to notice them in the herd. That 10%, those people had, you know, both parents paying attention to them for a while. Because I did, and I consider myself part of that crowd. And I think it's a similarity. I might be incorrect, but it's the way I see it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, yeah, because you know, both parents got to participate so that you can have balance in your own life. You know, because if you're only... Like, uh, my father made a huge error with me when I was a child, but... We never discussed it together, but I heard about it from relatives. And that rumor was that when I was uh, first starting to use my hands, hands, that I would, yeah, I would use my left hand. But my when I would use my my left hand, my father would slap my left hand. So wow. my mom told me later that he made me right-handed because I didn't want to get slapped. Yeah, I've heard that often. You know, that goes right. into religion, too. And yeah, uh, yeah, the left and right hand. There's a story I was reading. Uh, this person was from one of those uh, countries over yonder, you know, and uh, right along a border area where the re that particularness of the religiosity and the traditions was you use your left hand to eat or your right hand to eat. And then you get that little cross-cultural line right there and the teacher slapping the hand for using the left or right hand and then going home and the parents uh, slapping their hand for correcting themselves according to the other edicts. And so back and forth is like, what do you do? You throw your hands up in the air, right? Some people do. No, I was too little to, to resist. I think I went along with the protocol. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't fight back when you're little. Okay, but... What the point of the story from my side of it was simple. It was this. When you change one thing, you change everything. You know what? Speaking of changing one thing and the other, I'm not sure. It doesn't is. always look that way. I mean, it might not appear that obvious as something like slapping somebody's hand to make them use their other hand instead of that hand. But you can do smaller things that are, they have that same devastating result and they might not even be physical it might be ideas things you can say to other people that one-on-one -on -one between two people you shouldn't say things like that to them <laughs> but as you know as mary knows there's words that were raised to believe mean certain things well, there's also behaviors that we're not taught as, you know, a collective exist in society. And that's why over the years you just openly see the psychotics running things from a psychotic perspective, destroying every fucking thing they touch. But one thing they all got in common, they make profit. And that's why they're respected. And that's why things are the way they are, because these people make profits. Profits. That's like money in, in religious. I don't know guys. what it's like. As it, a profit. To me, See, too. Both the profits, right? To me, it's a mental word game, but you know, you, you want to take it where you like. I think you know what I was digging at. Sure. Mister. Yes, I did. Well, because you, you know, but 
that's what I think. That if it wasn't for this stupid thing about being a billionaire and people's expectations weren't so easily ah, controlled. There it is. There you go. But they're easily controlled through the Super. through the media and school, religion. Any kind of control is going to force your thinking into a certain direction. I'm sure the indoctrination I got stopped me from being a violent fuck that just went around shooting people with loaded guns. Hmm? 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 Um, it was an option. I could have chose that way if I'd have cho if I would have wanted to. It was available, but no, something about the way I am. Nah, that's not going to work for me. And then I developed into just thinking that, you know, if you got to use a gun to do whatever thing you're doing, it's kind of a sissy weapon when you think it through. Well, it's a... I know it's an it evil not, necessity, it, but it's a coward's weapon. Well, the efficiency is what you're going for, though. The the whole point behind it is what I'm against. Yeah, so, the vi violence to solve a problem does not work. Listen, when are, a gun when people get to figure it out. Is not going to solve the problem that makes it worse. That I, listen, that a nuclear warhead won't sure cure. Oh, you really believe all that shit? To superior, yeah. yeah, peace to superior fire. <laughs> <laughs> you nut job. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well. Wait a minute. Yeah. I've got a problem. Peace through superior war power. Yeah. Uh, Grimner, ex I have to quote you on that one. ex nay on that last one there, uh, Grim. Mm -hmm. I need a better. I, I want one that's lit up, but I haven't been able to find one that was not a, like a, a too small of one. I don't know if I can find that again. I need your help here, Flash. You're not being helpful. We need a good... What do you want me to do? I need that uh, external uh, keypad board there. Oh, you want me to look at something on the no, internet no. while I'm baked? No. Okay. Well, what do you want me to do? Just think. Think. Help oh, just think, think man. Help, help me you think. think here, yes. Okay. Let's all together collectively throw the dork positive brainwaves at Vinny. Thank you. When I count to three. One, two, three. Okay, Vinny. Boom. Now what do you, oh, now what do you I need? I got it. That did it. That works. <laughs> there you go. Thank See? You. I'm, eas I'm easily uh, amused. Yeah. You know, all you need to survive in life is a, a good sense of humor. And survival is yours. You know why I say that? Uh, no. Because there's fluoride in the water, and they tell you pot is bad for you. I them. don't drink fluoride, and I, I smoke pot. Hmm. Now what? So what you're saying to me... If you have a problem, fix it. If you do not like the way things are going, try something different. I can't find anything besides fractional reserve banking. What else you got? <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> Potatoes. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Spring is going to be here in a couple of months. Grow tomatoes. I th I think me and Circa are probably going to do a little more vegetable explore exploring. Me too. I'm uh, I'm committed. I oh, I better not say this. Mm. I hope that peace uh, remains in the West. Uh, otherwise, peace. I yeah, I've uh, if they peace come back nice. on the another raid out there. In Bunkerville, I have to definitely uh, uproot and go immediately. Oh, okay. Right? I would hope so. May the 4th be with with you, May sir. the 4th. So it's going to happen on the 4th, huh? I have no fucking idea. May? I, I was being funny. May you or not? But so May 4th. it could happen. I, I don't put it past the U.S. government to continue this beating and beating this dead horse. Because, see, if they beat it long enough and keep lying, eventually people get tired of them and they just give in. So what do we do? Uh, I'll just go out there and pop my tent over across from them? If I told you what I think you should do, it'd probably get you in trouble if you did it. Yeah, but you got to work through that, right? I think the Fed needs to go. All of it. That ain't, need it. it ain't going to happen just because you think or want. Right, but it, you don't need it for anything. It needs you, and 
if all it it does, does it not it's... need you it will eat you up you know how dangerous this animal is yeah that's what i'm saying i don't want no part of it you have you want my passport i'll give it to you for 10 bucks i lost my passport yeah there you go you could be me i'll i'll smell it to you <laughs> You just got to grow your hair a little longer and get a beard. Maybe have a little uh, elective surgery, like probably from the knees. You need to have be shortened. Uh, like Hank, to, Hank Hill's can Papa. You walk on, can you walk on your knees with shoes? <laughs> no. It's either that or you have to have your legs cut off. <laughs> I'm going it's with pretty not. bad. Then you, you probably don't want the passport. No. Nah, you're too tall. It'll ruin everything. I bet it would make it really hard to get a date. Really? If you were five foot four, yeah, you'd have to be cut off by the knees. <laughs> it would hurt. You'd cry. You'd go, hey. And then you'd be all weird looking is, because, you know, is this call you stumpy. Is this some kind of ritual from the Psilosophic Society? I have no idea. It's probably that Jew shit inside me dying to come out and slay you people. Stop. Please. I'm supposed to have, yeah, I'm supposed to have the superior religion that, you know, makes me better than you. You know, is is being a, what do they call that, that self-hating or whatever, is that like uh, being anti-Semitic against yourself that you're not, <laughs> you're not, you're not even Semitic. So, I really don't understand how this works. I don't either. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so, I mean, how do you take it serious? Come on. The stories are very, they're very fun. They're great stories, but if you take have, them beyond. Have you, know, you watched The Hangman on my bitch? Have video? you ever read Hop Frog by Edgar Allan Poe? No. I mean, it's a probably. story. All right. Well, the point I'm going to make is, is this. When I read the, hot, the story Hop Frog by Edgar Allan Poe, I didn't take it as a factual historical document. I took it as a story about... Uh, a king and a jester and, and a dancer in a time long ago. It was just a story. Now, what is the difference in, in taking that book to heart than taking this other book to heart? I don't get it. Book's a book. Story's a story. One is obviously allegorical and the other is uh, a history with allegory included into that subject. Well, so I would say it is not it, all and it is not completely specific. Uh, and I would also add that I think that people as a group, as a whole collective thing, have been taught to judge your uh, your good versus bad and using that as a, uh, like a, a, a scale. All right. You want an example? And, and no, I'm telling you what I think about You're it. And I me. don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm telling you what I think, not telling you what you think. But then, it, then that yeah. makes it okay. true, though. Right? <laughs> it makes it true to me. All right. It doesn't so. matter what you think. It's the ego or the id talking. See, we Both never. Could. I never did go over and pull them. I better do that for you. We're now the show, and then all of a sudden we're like, uh, we got a title, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. You come up with a good one. It's almost. You wrote it down earlier on somewhere. Over oh, the Atlantic. Well, three minutes. You know, Three minutes to go. Wow. I'm gonna, Time passes when you do the dark table. Yeah. I'm going to. But continue. shopping for a keypad live, that was rude. No, so it rude, ain't. Man. What do you mean? If I was rude. Hannibal Lecter, I'd, I'd oh, chop your leg off and rude. cook Let it and me watch be you eat clearly it. rude <laughs> to you, sir. <laughs> I'd like, first of all, for you to shut your mouth for a minute or two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not working. Oh, Vincent. It's not working. It's, what? Your mouth. Your keyboard broke. Your mouth. Oh. <laughs> my, my. It's, it's working fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, oh. Are, are you getting your itty bitty feelings hurt again? <laughs> are you kidding me? No. Are you going to? I bitty? No. Should I get you some Kleenex See, and tampons I, I'm so gonna you can get, have a good cry? I'm going to go back to your <laughs> earlier question about. Well, uh, well, superior. Yep. I, I got <laughs> superior. Yep. 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 Yeah. You little little short guy walking around. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Look, look at me. Yeah. I'm walking on my knees. I'm just, <laughs> weak, weak, weak. <laughs> but see how appearances affect you? <clears throat> yeah. They do, too. They really do. But you know what? If you take it all too serious, you know what happens? What? You go you go out and you vote for George Bush to build a wall. Or George Bush. <laughs> What's his fucking name? Trump. I hate that guy. I, I, hate I that don't guy. know. They're, I, they're all you know, the same that's guy. That's a strong word. That's right. They are the same guy. It's, just the, <laughs> it's not it's, no different. It's the same strings. <laughs> it's, just, it's like watching a TV show. Uh, it's, and it's I hated terrible. that reality <sighs> show thing. Who wants to be a trumpet? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Germans had Angela Merkel, so you guys come out ahead on that trade. <laughs> Angela Merkel. Wow. Oh, that's that whatever she was, prime minister. She's still running things over. Chancellor. Chancellor. Well, she Chancellor. supposedly I read a month or two back she was resigning from power and somebody's going to replace her, but she's still there, I think. How come? And I know she's mad because she, people won't say front hole or something. No, she's mad because she looks so much like Paul McCartney. She's oh, ashamed she's, of herself. That's an ugly woman. Yeah. But and Trump Paul, made fun of either her. Either that or Paul's an ugly old man. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, Paul's an ugly that old woman. It's 420, baby. <laughs> Over the Atlantic Ocean, we'd like to salute you. Dun, 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 dun. Barno. Yeah, so, ah. Uh, the Angela Merkel Paul McCartney debate will go on for the rest of our days. You don't matter. <laughs> you know what cracks me up? Hey, you know what really cracks me up about people? Tell me. You, you want, want me to give you an example of what cracks me up? Maybe. Remember that scene with Jack Nicholson and he's in his uniform and, and he's being cross examined all dramatical by some, you know military guy and they're in the military court and they're doing all these speeches yeah. and yelling at each other mm -hmm. you know the only thing wrong with that whole thing is what that's not how you behave in situations like that <clears throat> now the way they would behave more would be more like remember when they uh the, the mutiny on the uh which one was it when it was captain queeg what was his name <clears throat> humphrey bogart he plays captain queeg oh the <clears throat> that um, not the, uh, not the Queen Mary that was uh, in Africa. I know, I can't, yeah, I'm bad with the names, but you know the movie I'm talking about. And, and But they're all sitting around, and they're silent, and they're behaved, and nobody's yelling. They're all very, just indeed and specific with their dialogue. They're not screaming and ranting and acting the fool. <laughs> and what I think movies have done is convince the public that these people are all dramatic and shit like that in court. And if you've ever been to court, I have. it's anything it, but it, dramatic. Oh, it's very it, controlling. It, yeah, yeah, it's eerie. It You feel, mm. it's the same feeling I got when I went to into a morgue my first, or, you know, where I was working with dead people. I worked at a mortuary. <laughs> I'll tell you that story sometime. But yeah, and the first time I was around the dead bodies was kind of eerie. That wouldn't that bother feeling, me. It, yeah, the, I wouldn't okay, be afraid but the, of. You know what you nah, should be afraid of. Wasn't see here. You're you're defining my emotion. No, no I'm I not. Didn't say fear. I said it was eerie. It eerie, was very what? okay. Like awareness. I stand kind of correct. Way. Wow. Yeah, because there was nothing afraid. I worked there. Wasn't going anywhere. But I went into the more the body part of the thing for something, and I passed by the bodies, and I could feel the energy shift. I don't know how to explain it in a way that you're going to agree with, but I'll tell you what happened to me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got you got scrutinized, buddy. I know you you got me under the microscope today. Are you, when you get to my ball hair, will you stop? <laughs> Long before then. There are no secrets at the door <laughs> table. <laughs> Well, say something. Hairball? There you go. <laughs> no. Oh, I ball. forgot what I was going to do. No. <laughs> I got the pipe ball. I got the good heat and had to cough. I wonder why that it always expands. And it's just part of the game I play. I'm not. 
I'm not much on all that. Oh, I got high and painted the Mona Lisa. You know, no. I got Mona high Lisa and lost your talked, to, talked to Vinny for two hours about absolutely nothing and made fun of Paul McCartney and uh, Angela Merkel. No, not a lot of people can do that. You know what a lot of people can't do? I I can sum it up in one sentence. Oh. You ready? No, I'm probably I, not. I'm going to tell you what the undoable is. You cannot say this. Fuck Israel. I think you just did. Yeah, but I'm nobody. But if you're somebody, and I'm warning you now, watch your words, sport, because you hang out with me. You might want to think about connection. <laughs> You get connected to me, the dirty pie mouth boy. Ooh. Then what's going to happen? Your career is over. What you going to do? Huh? Come back to RLM. Well, you know, I've. With your I've, tail I've, between I've, your legs. I've spoken, criticized. I've spoken about this. See, ids and egos and eots and iotas and dots and tittles and uh, in search of the fool idiot, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. So you say words, and I say guard your words, mm -hmm. and you spit them out all over down your shirt. There you are. Yeah. And you, but you're living. You're living under the Patriot Act. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are, buddy. You don't think we can reach I'm over against. there? If who, we who want you, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Who's gonna do? Oh, good lord. There it yeah, is. Yeah, I'm so it, important. The philosophic the, society. The Ids. freedom of America depends on removing me. Oh, yeah, that's that's about as far from reality as you can get. You know what an id is? But, okay, my uh, inside me thing guy, right? My id. Tell me. Go on. Tell me define about it. it. No, I want oh, you I want to it. tell me what your I id is. Just, did the best I could, and you didn't tell me improve, again. so you tell, fix it. Tell me again. The thing in me, the id thing in me, that's the id. You think it's a super ego? I don't think there's anything of like it. You only have an ego. Yours is just fed more often than everybody else's. Because you get off on hearing your name. If I got off on something in particular, and I would look for it, I'd find it. Well, listen, did that make life just, great to be so easily... Amused. amused. Yeah. Absolutely. I I'm think it's crying. wonderful. And I'm allowing you yeah. to have yeah. that same experience at no cost. And I think you should run for public office and become a leader of the people. No, There's I, a oh, punishment no. for I've, you. Uh, I've been in positions such as that in the past, and yeah, it comes with great responsibility. It means you got to have a lot of dedication and willingness to put your all into it. So that you can fuck everybody. No, 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 no. See, that's that's the problem there. That's what's the, see, what's the problem? What your point of view? My point of view. No, you can't see nothing. With your Wonder head where what? my point of view comes from. Let us ponder this for just a moment, Vincent. All right. Where does my point of view come from? Are you familiar with the term anal retentive? <laughs> <laughs> You are, you are too easy. <laughs> we'll give you. Are you familiar with the term hundredth monkey? Could you imagine? I had this thought the other day. You ready for this? I'm going to shock you, everybody. Sure Grimner, and if Grimner's out there, you'll get a kick You're out of this story. Me. The other night, reruns in my head, I think of off the wall things, and one of the things passed through my mind was the story of the hundredth monkey. And then what came after it is the funny part that I'm going to tell you. And it struck me that what if it's just another story they tell us? There is no such thing as the hundredth monkey. They just pretended there was. They went behind everybody's back and they showed the other monkeys what to do. And when a hundred monkeys did it, they went, see, now we'll just tell them that it all happened through nature. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's very sensible. No, that's how cynical... It is cynical, seeing, too, huh? But seeing all the lies through all the stuff they tell you that's good for you, for example, and then you find out that's a bunch of shit. So no matter what I see now, I've got this side of me that's going, hey, I wonder if they lied about that, too. <laughs> so, wow. I'm starting to wonder if you're even really here, Vinny. I'm not. 
I hear you breathing, but uh, I don't. I don't know. What'd you call maybe? It? What'd you call it? Could be cynical. I don't know. Cynical. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, yes. I'm like <laughs> Grimner <it is. laughs> retentive equals constipated. But I guarantee if you drink three shots of 151 and you chase it with prune juice, it'll cure anything. Now, I think that would cure cancer. <laughs> cancer, go get me the fuck out of this. <laughs> Never mind. That was a food joke, Good drink joke. You. Ah, you're welcome. I don't do that very often anymore, you know, because we've pretty much declared all the obvious boobs run the world. Um, There's only two emotions. There's only two genders. People that look down their nose at pot are idiots. Um, People that jump on the pot bandwagon to look cool are idiots. Uh, I think that the prohibition of cannabis should just end. Solves everything. Yeah, but you release didn't, people you didn't from prison. Uh, what is this a no, manifesto? You can't, you can't fix this. Is this this a, is so broken. It, it's beyond fixing. You can save a few people if other things happened that would incidentally help them. But making it legal didn't do shit. Just put a limit on what you could carry. That's okay with them. Well, you know, fuck them. Maybe I want to carry a pound and a half. <laughs> It's my personal, man. I'm going to bathe in this shit. I use it for stew. <laughs> going to make some weed stew. Tea. Let's try that one. Sub- I- I'm subtitling the uh, the title. Well, I was looking at possession on a dorkular level. Yeah, but what are you going to um, do? Hey, uh, free the weed, man. Just uh, Okay, well, here's the, here's, here's the problem I... I, this is the problem I have. I, me, personally, I was only arrested in my whole life for pot one time, and I was a teenager. Incidental. No fucking weight at all in my life. Didn't change nothing. What I'm talking about is the people that were stopped by the police for other shit, and because the cops figured out by looking at them, probably, they, 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 pot were, his, yeah. they yeah. were smoking, and then they go, well, we smelled it. Will you please... You, you got it wrapped in a plastic bag shoved down by your balls, but this German shepherd motherfucking cop smelled it, you know? And it, that's what I'm upset about, is all the intrusion into your privacy chasing this freaking flower that should have never been illegal in the first damn place. So everybody that was connected to all that shit got fucked. And there's never been any attempt to apologize. No, what they do now is they try to tell new information. No, not we lied in the 1920s to make you do this. They won't even tell the truth. And these are the ideas that are going to keep us (laughs) where we are in society. Because society cannot accept that. Spoken that way, they don't want to hear it. So now you go, this is where you go with the... Uh, you can't handle the truth. Yeah, oh, but you yeah, wouldn't do it. You screaming. can do it in his voice, right? I don't. I don't know. I'm kind of high now. <laughs> All right, here it is. We're gonna add it. No, but, is this, but he is just, this shit? He just. Right, so. But the point of it, all that drama and shit, you know better. You can't be. If you behave that way in court, they put handcuffs on you and lock you up. Oh, that's what it you can't, was. Yeah. You can't yell and act the fool and scream and be all dramatic like some girl. Can I tell you but, a story? Well, sure. But they make all these movies about stuff that aren't real to make you believe things like this. That's the whole point I'm trying to make. If you believe there's aliens attacking other, you know, other aliens on Earth, chances are you're watching a movie. <laughs> <too tiny. sighs> Uh, I'm just making a casual observation. Do you believe in the you know? lizard people, man? No, but I believe there's a mafia. Yeah. But I don't believe the, the mafia tale the way it's told through the uh, movie. I mean, why would you expose your whole hand? See? <laughs> Absolutely. And making a movie, making a three-hour movie about you would probably do it. So whatever we see on film... Even when they tell you this is factual and shit like that, it's all a bunch of crap. It's made up. I think that is just so silly-sophic. <laughs> it's, 
Yeah. How could it? Okay. If there are external things that you think you're learning in your mind, right? You believe you're learning these external things mm -hmm. that you cannot use in your daily life. I look at that as just a way to distract you from what you're good at. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, spend your whole life staring into the stars and understanding the universe and all that shit. I was busy making paintings and going places and getting in trouble and, you know, living a life. But I, I saw the system take that freedom away from other people. And I, I didn't want that. But I did a couple times, you know, I, I did have a marriage or, or two in the middle <laughs> uh, from where I'm at now. But sadly, I've outlived everybody from my uh, youth and, and 20s days. Those people are mostly all gone. <clears throat> so it's like, wow, you get old and things change a little bit. How many people you outlived so far there, Mr. Vincent? A lot. And that uh, one point in time it dawned on me that that was, uh, that was something, really. It's strange when you think about it, but um, I, don't, I don't get it either. I just wake up in the morning. I don't expect to. I don't go to bed praying to wake up or any of that horse shit. But I wake up in the morning, there's usually either the dog barked or there's a dog nose in my eye. Crap. <laughs> No, nah, Cirque won't. No, Cirque's good. She she figures let him sleep, or whatever. But the dog has another way. <laughs> and what am I going to do? She's a dog. Get mad at her for doing it, then she won't do it. But you know, then you're just being mean to an animal that does is just trying to get its way. So you know when the dog tries to hurt me, I just go along with it. Rough, rough. Well, I could be a prick and hurt the dog and make her afraid. What the fuck is the point of all that? Just give in, get up. It's another day. Be glad you got it. I mean, some people ain't going to make it this far. All right, so you pronounce it cynicality then, right? Cynicality? Does that sound right? I don't think so. I've never heard the word. Cynical. Yeah, but you add the cynicality oh. is the uh, the quality of being of, oh, cynical. Oh, quality of being cynical. Oh. Uh, in search, uh, do you like it? In search of uh, sense and cynicality. Hmm. Yes, I don't know. You write whatever makes you happy, Vincent. That's not. What I I'm want. You, with. I want you to be happy too. See? I'm Remember as I, happy as I was, my little feet can ha keep I told up with you. you. It's free. Free deal. Well, you know how Jewish people are about free. I'll take three. If it's free, I'll take three. If it's 20% off, I'll take two. There it is, right there. <sighs> anyway. Silly Sophic Society. Ids and Egos. I think my indoctrination had kicked the shit out of your indoctrination any day of the week, buddy. What do you think of that? Huh? Um, huh? That's what I got. And you were supposed to be taking notes, so that's Yeah, but do you think that my indoctrination is any weaker than yours? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yours is much more than mine, actually. Yeah. How so? Do you believe so much of what you believe? Oh well. And for the for the, in the mere mm -hmm. act of believing. That's Yeah, that's crazy. all it takes. You're crazy. Yeah, you that's... are crazy. Oh thank you. And what makes me so? Because you believe. What do you believe? Well, that, it's a belief of belief. Does that make yeah. any sense to you? To me, it does. You because I just live. I don't have any expectations of anything. Things just happen. That's how I see it. Wow. And it, not that random chaos kind of crap. Just even though you think you know what's going to happen. There's always just a little twist to make it. Like today, I got I got my uh, Danish pancakes. Oh, I didn't ask. I didn't oh, ask her. She, I I would right. love some of those. Yeah, but I didn't ask I'll quit, her. She. I, I quit picking on you if you give me your pancakes. <laughs> no, you can pick on me all you <laughs> like. But but you know it's it's just when one of us does stuff like that, it's the way things work. Yeah. That's when you know you're getting along with somebody is when That's things awesome. work and you're comfortable. But you know what? You're kind of you're you're getting off real easy. This How so? Because uh, 
Circle is such a, a wonderful person. I mean, it's like, bam, right? It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. You would. Yeah. You don't even yeah. hardly even have to try, right? No. And there, and there why is, no, is yeah. that? Because what what she gives, what you receive, yeah, has so freely given. It costs nothing, right? You think if you give, right. then you yeah. are, have a loss, but it is completely opposite of that. It yeah, is, it's, it's the, the feeling. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing yeah. when you give. It just like it's like some thing that clinks, and then it just flows back on you. If it's you know giving in in uh, goodness and then right, not oh, I can give this and I'm gonna get some money back tax season. Yeah, well, it's the difference between toys and trinkets to me. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, a toy, yeah, you might play good. with a toy for a few minutes, sure. but a trinket, you might hang on to it so you can look at it in your collection. Yeah, like in the uh, in the movie uh, with a John Travolta and all them guys. The uh, uh, what's that? Oh, uh, you know, Vegas Vinny. <laughs> My mind blanked. The mm. Quentin Tarantino movie. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Thank you. Yeah. The trinkets. What would be a difference between a trinket and what was the other word? A toy. A trinket and a toy. Well, the trinkets. Yeah. Kind of uh, without certain value in a way so well, let's compare it what would be one step above that like the watch you remember the the watch it was brought yeah that, that sort of thing yeah that something would, you'd but, want to keep but you wouldn't want to carry it in your hand <laughs> is that is that a trinket or a toy there would be something more that, than that right? no that would be no something that you would keep i would consider a trinket something that you would use up and abandon quickly would be a toy don't you think that trivializes the what not, that not watch to... actually is you you know what it took to bring that watch to him <laughs> yeah he carried it up yeah. his butt that's love baby <laughs> that's love that's dedication <laughs> yeah and the way he tells the story is just so over the top <laughs> fucking walking anyway yeah you always bring this show up when we do dork tables <laughs> okay now wait let me stop you don't interrupt me here because we're going to break this down a little bit okay Let's uh, we we've got help from the uh, from the chat room here and great minds here. Anti, what is uh, what's slightly less intense than cynical? Very good question. Ponder that uh, as I mm. scroll down a little bit. Uh, Grimner, indifferent, uh, apathetic. Uh, yeah, apathetic might be more worse, even worse. He says. Yeah, yeah, in. in what, uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me run through it and then take a note. You got your pencil, right? And your pad? No. Your pad? No. Go get one real quick. But keep I have to cut Cirque's keep finger and write in blood. Listening. All right. Uh, synonym, cynical, untrusting, says Chloe. Um, distrust probably is better, she says. I guess you feel that's relative somehow. What is? Relative. It is relative. Everything's relative in a way. Cynical synonyms. And here's a word I don't know. Diogenic. Do you know what that word is? Well, no. But what I do know is what you say is what you say. So there you go. Okay. It doesn't make anything real or any of that to me unless I agree with it. I can't. If I like it. Can't get nothing. If I past like you. it. Well, there, but there you go. If I like it, then I'm going to agree with go. it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to not going to agree with it. And that somehow is presented to us in a in a definite way that doesn't really apply. It does if you want it to, but it doesn't have to. Because you can still get along with people and not see things eye to eye about stuff that's supposed to matter and rock you. It, if you really don't allow it, it won't. It's a matter of being in control of yourself, not other people. Other people do what they do. The only thing you can do is you. There you go. So if you're a raging idiot, you're the one being a raging idiot, not the other guy. You're a raging idiot. You're welcome. Thank you. I do I do my best for the cause. I I hope to be remembered as the be, the best idiot money could buy. But you know what? I've got that's uh, list is so long I'll never get on it. Too bad for you. 
I know I can be up there in the, with the stars. Henry Kissinger and George Bush. Oh, Barack Obama and Hillary ah. Clinton. Oh, the limelight. Oh, and all those wonderful people. Oh, I'm so, I can't hardly wait. Are you out of your freaking mind? I don't think Here so. Here it is. The most illustrious of the cynic philosophers. Ah. You know, the other day I was telling Cirque about this movie. And the point of telling her about the movie, my wife is a dog lover, as we all know. And Hi, Hannah. The po- this woman is playing a cop, and in her spare time, she rescues dogs. That's a wonderful and she, person. It, she gives the dogs horrible political politician names so she doesn't get too attached to them. So she's got Aww. a dog. She's calling it Bella Abzug. <laughs> yeah. So, but the, the girl asked, so why did you name them after politicians? Well, so I don't get so attached to them. Hmm. That's and this is in a, a mo- no. It's not that it's hysterical. It's that this is the way society looks at their own government, and it's okay. And if you complain about it, well, well, why don't you leave? <laughs> leave what? It's it's an idea. It's not real. It's just ideas that you're hearing. They're explanations for why these other things you're not seeing happen. Uh, it's very complicated, Vincent. I would try to explain it to you, but I don't speak Arkansanian. Do you speak philosophic? I might. <laughs> I don't know. Let's make some up as we go. That's a that's a fun <laughs> word to say, isn't it? Philosophic. Philosophic, because it's silly. The philosophic society. Well, you know, we've tried everything the, the grown-up adult way, and that's all end up in failure, misery, death, war, pollution, stupid stories like greenhouse gases and climate change. Uh, people have been misled down a road of dis- just disaster under the guise of help. So they think they're they think they're doing right by doing the exact opposite of what is intelligent. (laughs) And it looks like there's more and more of them every day. I think you call them zombies. That's a good song. I like that song. The zombies. Zombie. Zombie. Are you a zombie? I want to be a zombie when I grow up. Can I, Vinny, do I have your permission to be a zombie? Yeah. Cool. Where do I start? I, uh, can I, get... I will write you in as a character in my book. Yeah. Do uh, I get a certificate? No, no. No gold stars, uh, no cookies or brownies. Whoa. Not even nothing, no. Uh-uh. Wow, yeah. that doesn't sound very good. That, Wasn't listen, it for me? that is the cost of uh, the game. Yep. The price of success. The cost. There's no price. What? There is no cost. price. No well, price. what's the difference between you cost and you price? You can't buy it. The price is okay. that means that you could buy it. And the cost? It's, what's the difference? That's what's ex- extruded. Extruded. Uh, you show me yes. two people that think outside of their wallet, and I'll, I'll be amazed. Now, we work on numbers, my friend. It's all about creative accounting. You, you go one back, step ahead. Go back the to man, this giving. Man. Think of it like it's go what? back to this giving. You know mm-hmm. that. Keep that in mind. So what, what is it giving? taking, extruded from you? Mm-hmm. The cost ah, the that cost. that you're you're saying that that idea versus that which is flood that flows from you that you would be giving, right? Where you where do you want to fit in? You want to be the the grape being squished, or do you want to be trampled underfoot, be buried about, at boot heel? Uh, how about heel? none of the above, Bosco? That's a sucky list. Yeah. Take me off your freaking list, you weirdo. Well, I, I don't want to play I'm that game. To get you on the. Uh, insider list here buddy no that sounds miserable i don't want to play oh that. not that one no. squished like the other one the one i'm talking about which one is that that's where you're free you, yeah I, it comes from i got you. married there's there's no room for freedom are you insane are you kidding i'm i'm so free yeah I but am. i got married if i if i wasn't married i'd be free 
No, that, then you're missing the point about that given and freely flowing over. Others, is it opposed to being that grape and being squished and extruded? Do you understand what I'm no, saying? No, I, I, yeah, but I think it's all also weighs in with how seriously you take uh -huh. promises to people. Because it changes the results of your life. It don't matter, pretty baby. Is that what you're trying well, to say? Exactly, because only thing things only matter to Best you, baby. whoever you are. So if something matters to me, it's who else besides Cirque is going to give a shit about that? See, because I got married to her she has to <laughs> she doesn't by law she's got yeah she has is to. that how the law's written in denmark what, what does it know. say i mean no i mean you it better says know a bunch of stuff you signed stuff a contract like you better know what it says i live i live up to my contract listen being it's warned simple. learn justice so but then that what's being used against you you better learn what's being called law right Right, and where I live, none of that stuff applies because uh, there's no um, police presence, surveillance, and all that kind of crap doesn't happen here. The only cameras are in for the uh, kiosk, and it's probably insurance. And it was like that before the guy that owns it bought it, so it's probably law. Because of where they're at, they want to videotape it so that people won't try to rob it. And they do that through insurance companies. But outside of that, I don't, I don't see cameras all over this little town. Yeah, I there's nah. there's no cameras out here. Well, there are actually uh, game but, game cams. People have them yeah. sometimes. Now the okay. game warden, he's apt to maybe uh maybe uh fly around in a drone or something, maybe looking for weed. And, okay, and it's so know. free. It is so free here socially. People have are still throwing fireworks today. A little earlier in the evening, me and Cirque heard the dog bark over it. But instead of punishing people, they give them a little bit of room. Let them, you know, if this is how you're going to misbehave with some fireworks, well, then we're not going to fuck with you over that. Hey, this and is great. That's how I see it. Yeah, it don't matter. Well, where they I'm don't from, they made them, hey, Pretty where I'm from, they, they made them more attractive because they made laws against them. Let me let me let me see if this ain't a perfect song. It's like watching the um, South Park. You know, the the more you tell a kid no, the more they want something. So they kind of capitalized on fireworks in that state. But the difference here is this is a a, a country that's considered to be less free be, than the one I'm from because of their tax structure. But it seems to me that they, they seem to get what they pay for, so they don't snivel about it. And what's left over after they pay their freaking taxes seems to be enough for them to live comfortable. So what's the difference between the two systems? Well, I, I can sum it up with these words, which was going to be working to be the intro, but it took us like a half the show to get the title right. <laughs> because why because you're not participating you refuse to pick up a pad and pen yeah and then i'm going to tell you why that is the outro uh, it okay. don't matter pretty oh. baby it was okay. a note upon your door it don't matter how you said it you don't love me no more Does it i matter could no hijack the airway oh, this ow. is the part where you're being quiet remember ow, ow, ow. i could hijack the airways say i want you back could put us in a novel and rewrite the past string up the words behind the long airplane and wait for your answer to come back again this way i maybe we're talking in morse code but that's the outro for today and remember it don't matter Unless i'd find you want it yeah. to Unless you'd like to find the words I'm looking for, it don't matter. I can't do that. Raina, I can only criticize the ones you tell me. Raina Del Cid. Make like fun it. of you, you goof. I am making fun of you, and you're too stupid to know it, and this is part of the problem, mister.
Well, hey, Goofenstein, you want to tell everybody what's coming up no. on the Real Liberty Media? No. No, you don't? No, okay. I do. I'm just kidding. You do? Yeah. Oh, okay. I... Well, you do a good job of that shit because you got it all memorized. And it's been changing and Mary's sick. You're sick. Oh, yeah, and a, and a big get well to Miss Mary out yeah, there. And get... uh, right. my throat, she sounded terrible. I talked with her briefly yesterday. And when I first heard her voice, I heard the name Mary, and the voice and the name didn't go together from the Mary I know. And I thought, who the fuck is this? We got Mary? <laughs> That's how sick poor Mary is. I didn't even recognize I didn't that either. was Mary. I did not. Yeah, well, okay, well, let's send her some ESP brainwaves to get over that shit. Positive things. Yeah, something. Yes. Well, whatever that stuff is, if you believe it, do it and mary's down right now so she could probably uh, use the help <laughs> love you miss mary you yes, hope you get you. better there you go anyway yeah do the do the lineup mr memory okay <laughs> should i do it from memory i don't care how you do it you do it or, you like i just called do, you mr we memory do, we do have a uh, <laughs> uh a schedule page that you can go look at but i can do it from memory yeah. so today we are on the dork table and that rolls dork along table. at noon saturdays mm -hmm. here at real liberty media uh, tomorrow real liberty media yes tomorrow uh we play trivia and chat trivia. listen to blues and uh, grimmer has got that going on uh that'll start about uh noon uh east uh no central's one o'clock one o'clock it's, no, it's blues, no, not wrong. blown, right? Yeah, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. See, you should have went to the wrong. schedule. At noon. Stop being wrong. Noon, noon o'clock. It's at oh. 3 o'clock. It's ah. Eastern. It's when Hal comes along behind the woodshed. And Halliburton. Now, if you are actually and truly in search of some sense and not the cynic, cynicality, cynical, we go. I got to look at that word again. Cynicality, yeah. In search of sense and cynicality. Hey, cutting, yeah. cutting through all the crap is what you want to do, right? Hey, hell. You find he does, that he where? To us, where? Where? Tell me, Flash. Where? Behind That's right. the, the woodshed. And what does that mean? That didn't mean that uh, you're getting taken back there. But you are in the sense where you're getting them good life lessons and understanding how to traverse this world that we're in and remain out of harm's way right there uh 10 years 10 years now how on sunday that's right and uh, about five years here at real liberty media sundays yep three o'clock eastern so come on along for that for sure and uh grim comes back with leftovers on monday at 7 p.m and Tuesdays, here you are again. And it is, what time? Your time. 7 p.m. Your time, right? Or 9? On, yeah, on Tuesday. Yeah, so that's noon. 7 o'clock, yeah. Yeah, so that's noon or 1 Eastern. 1 Eastern, right? Yep. Uh, I think yeah. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be. Could very well be. Wednesday I, I don't is know. Grammy on the rocket chair. And that is 7 p.m. Eastern. And again on Friday at the same time. Then there's a little hole in between there. Oh, did you do Grimm? Yeah, on Monday? I did. Okay. And then I was, I then was we're back something. to Grimm again. Not the leftovers, but the brand new with Moosey on the freaking ball, y'all. And less like last night, uh, we had uh, Grimm solo, and that was balls, yeah, to, balls the balls. to the balls. Yeah. Booey. Hmm. And then back again to where we're at. No, because I do a thing on Thursday now, too. Oh, I ran right over that, didn't I? I call yeah, twenty percent off. Listen, off. off. Yeah. Right, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a little something in the mail. Uh, it's, okay. Yeah, it's a, a free coupon for twenty percent off. <laughs> I'm already twenty percent off. Yeah, that's because you're five foot four. Not twenty four, not twenty seven, not thirty. Twenty. What a so what a deal! A, I know. I must be like legal not really not off yeah. enough to lock up lethal did you say or legal legal armed and legal 
Well, I don't know. The world is insane, and people believe all kinds of crazy shit. Well, we've already done armed and dangerous versus I know. dumb hey, and lazy. You're going to be around on Tuesday. I'm going to do in a perfect world. Oh, happy birthday. Gonna... Who? Look, Chloe's birthday. Oh, uh, today, Lab's 10th yeah. birthday yeah. for the dog. Dog birthday. Love, dog. love. That's a real birthday. Wow, that's a wrap. Thanks a lot, everybody, for hanging out at the dork table. Bye bye. See, you, Alice. <laughs> what? That was fun.